Hey, good morning, everybody. Renee here. And I don't know about you, but I am sure glad that the county order restricting hiking in our beautiful parks has been lifted because I just love to, to strike out and hike on these vast trails. I've been going, probably this will be the third mile here, and I've seen maybe four people on this trail. So hiking the county trails, if you're not hiking the most popular ones, is probably the best way to do social distancing in our entire county. There's just nobody out here. But as I'm hiking in this redwood forest, uh, with my face mask on, in case I come across anybody, as we've been asked to do, I, uh, I, I'm reminded of the incredible age of these redwood trees that I'm surrounded with here. Um, some of these trees, if you count the rings, are 2,000 years old, the oldest ones. And the redwoods have survived despite fires, despite what ecologists call mega droughts in this area, but they just keep going and going and going. And that reminds me of Christ's promise about the church. In Matthew 16, 18, Jesus says, I tell you that you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. I believe he's referring to Peter's confession of Christ. And the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. Notice what Jesus says here. He says, he will build his church. And of course, that doesn't just mean an organization or a building like Twin Lakes Church. That means the church invisible and triumphant throughout the ages, the community of people who believe in Jesus Christ. He says, I'm going to knit you together. And then he says, it's going to last. He says, the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. The church of Christ is the only community surviving from the days of antiquity. When you think about it, nothing else has survived from the days of the Roman Empire intact, except for the church of Jesus Christ, because he builds it and the gates of Hades won't prevail. The community of faith has lasted through the Black Plague. It has lasted through horrible wars. It has lasted through horrible persecution. And you and I, as part of this community of faith, are assured that it will continue to last. You know, it reminds me of what happened with the church in China. At the beginning of the Cultural Revolution, the persecution against the Christian church, there were an estimated one million Christians in communist China. Decades later, when restrictions were lifted and Christians could come out in the open, it would have been a miracle if there were still a million Christians there, right? Well, there were conservatively 50 million Christians after decades of intense persecution. Why? Because Jesus Christ promised, I will build my church, he says, and the gates of Hades won't prevail against it. So have hope that as part of his community of faith, or like one of these redwoods in a redwood grove, you're gonna be okay. The church of Jesus Christ, invisible and triumphant, will prevail. I hope that encourages you this morning. Hope you've enjoyed this walk in the forest. God bless, you're gonna have a good day.